Welcome to Southeast Ohio Solar Haven once again. So, um, you're looking at Big Blue, as I like to call the big 4 kilowatt inverter. <laughs> but, uh, as you can see, yep, it's changed up a little bit. Um, working on a place here to install this transfer switch. Um, this transfer switch, I was, uh, um, um, a YouTube friend, uh, actually turned me on to it, uh, Bobby Solar Homestead, thank you Bobby, he, uh, uh, he has one of these himself that he was, uh, sent to by a subscriber and he absolutely loves it, he said, and I was hunting for something to transfer power from this inverter from you know I got the regular grid socket move the wires grid socket there what I have to do is unplug that and plug it into this one plug on this uh, outlet strip and this outlet strip itself is actually plugged into this inverter full time because it runs my internet equipment my you know my router my uh gigabit uh gig gigabit switch so i got a 16 port netgear gigabit switch sitting there for everything plus everything running there uh but i needed something to where i just didn't have to physically unplug that all the time and plug it in because i didn't want to wear the plugs out so i wanted to run to this and it's a really neat product actually. Um, I found it on Amazon. I believe it was $36 and it was free shipped. And what you do is you bring right here, it says normal power and then you got your backup power. So you can bring your normal power, grid power in this side and then you can bring your generator or your inverter power on this side and then you got your two outputs now these two outputs can actually be combined together because they're switched off so when you when this switch switches which is really tough you know it'll turn whatever this side on but it'll turn this off and there won't be no power back fed through these breakers that are supposed to be in here that are 63 amp and as you can see when you flip it over it's got a huge um, servo motor in there that actually works if you put it on automatic say if grid power goes down it just zoop, and then turns the switch over to to normal power when i hook this up i'll i'll make a video demonstrating how it works or um, you can go to manual mode and switch it yourself however you want um, the output on these, actually I, I've done a little research, well it's harder to unplug one handed but you can take this little plug out. And uh, what this allows you to do right here, these are um, 100 volt output, uh, uh, regular 120 volt outputs. So you could use a, uh, a relay on those. You know, you could take a relay and trigger something else if you wanted to do something with that, you know, with regular power or switch over or whatever. Or uh, you can put like a, a huge 120-volt uh, indicator light, you know, put a, um, a, a red light for uh, grid power and put a green light on there for emergency power or whatever, you know, a, a big indicator lamp. So those are really nice. Uh, by looking at it it is a very stout product uh i can't complain uh, probably weighs a good couple pounds um to give you an idea of the size of it uh, if you all have a, a dewalt double battery charger here's one right here i can set that sucker right on top of it it's pretty huge um, And it's made well. It's got a metal uh, plate back there where everything's mounted on. You can mount it on the wall or whatever. 
But yeah, uh, I want to shout out Bobby Solar Homestead for that because uh, he turned me on to that. We had a nice long dis discussion on the phone about him. And uh, wanted to let him know thanks for turning me on to this switch. I think I'm going to enjoy that. And uh, anyway, yeah, I've been working on, as you can see, the wire mess. It's kind of cleaned up on there. I ran into a snafu with one of the network cables. Uh, my green network cable, it's plugged in down there, in fact. It was uh, working on and off, so I went out and got some network six network six category six network cables these are shielded cables that way I don't have interference issues uh, can't deal with interference don't like interference that's like when I do my uh, power runs on the uh, wire pool I'm running a category six uh, shielded network cable out to the building that way I can hook up a laptop or whatever or, in fact, grab another one of these little puppies out here, which I keep my Netgear stuff. Another gigabit switch I've had, and I will plug it in out there so I can have a computer and maybe hook up to solar equipment and be able to uh, monitor it. But, uh, that's what's going on here today. I wanted to let everybody know about this. This is a pretty cool gadget. I like it. Um, getting that straightened up. This over here is going to get more straightening up. Because when I do the wire pulls, I'm pulling it all back out. And everything will look a little bit. You know, don't look. I mean, it looks chaotic to me. So I'm going to kind of straighten it up and make it look a little more organized. Plus, I got to change out all these breakers that I'm going to be replacing with the better ones, and or might just change over to midnight breakers or a DC type breaker that will work. It's kind of overkill on breakers, but having two shutoffs, one out the panels and one here, and I could always pull one of these nice little knife switches down pull it in the middle and it'll shut off everything but it's a triple safety factor then so I like that but anyway once again thanks for watching uh, if y'all need a transfer switch and want, they do got these for 240 volt they actually have a three pole and four pole for three phase so uh, you can buy these and different styles just with more of this on the side for the transfer switch but this is a 120 volt version so this will do what I want it to do and uh, hopefully it'll work out fine so once again hit that subscribe button and uh, take care of yourselves stay safe stay healthy later guys